It was a battle until the very end here, but Toronto FC's comeback effort fell just short as the New England Revolution take this one 3 to 2. Welcome inside After 90. Eric Giacometti here inside Gillette Stadium where the Reds just couldn't quite find that equalizing goal as the match wore on. Late drama in this one with Sebastian Jovinko coming on in the second half, scoring an 89th minute penalty before being sent off just one minute later. You talked to Michael Bradley after the match about what were some of the problems with the slow start coming out of both the first and the second half. The performance was we weren't good enough and we lost the game 3-2 and there's not much more, not much more to say. Certainly not blaming anything on, uh, on the referee tonight, that's for sure. We, uh, <laughs> we dug our own grave from the beginning and, and, um, and that's that. So got to find uh, the right ways to, to, to respond and to, to move ourselves forward and we will for sure. Certainly not the result they were looking for here in New England, but a bit of positive news for Toronto FC as defender Chris Mavinga was welcomed back into the 18. He came into the match in the second half and helped to solidify things in the defense, being able to push Michael Bradley into his natural midfield position. Head coach Greg Vanny talked about what a plus it is to have the defender back in his side. Well, I mean, first I would say I think, um, you know, Michael and, and whoever he's been back there with the last few games have, have done a very good job, uh, especially on the circumstances today. I think we got off to a bad start, lost some balls in, in the midfield that came back at us really quickly, uh, didn't manage those well. But um, I thought once Chris slid back and Michael moved into midfield, it started to look a lot more stable. Chris, obviously, just as a natural center back, his ability, his uh, his feel for reading things and recognizing things, his athleticism, all those things help us and, and also it helps us to have Michael in front because he funnels things into better areas, he protects our center backs uh, in a different way and so again I think we and, and that was one of my object, objectives as this game goes on is to start to get guys back into their position so we could use this game a little bit to hopefully start moving um, momentum forward a little bit back in the in the way we want. With a full week of preparation, the Reds will be hoping a bit of home cooking is exactly what they need to get back on track. You can catch them back at BMO Field on Friday when they take on Orlando City.